Hey, good morning YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're driving another one of my personal cars. Uh, we're up here in Lake Tahoe and as you might have guessed with that exhaust note, uh, we are in my 2021 Lamborghini Urus. So let's go for a drive. We won't really talk too much about this one quite yet. Um, the joy of this car is simply in driving. So we got a perfect day in Lake Tahoe. It's a balmy, I don't even know what it is right now, 30 degrees, 36 degrees. Here we go. So this is a 2021 in the absolutely stunning launch color. It's that Italian yellow for those of you guys that don't know. So they, 
there are not too many uh, 21s out there. I don't know the exact numbers. I'll have it in the description if I can find that, that figure. Um, but I, I'll tell you, it's not a whole lot. Um, Lamborghini, the factory did shut down for a short period of time. And when it shut down, uh, they stopped producing cars, of course. So they are catching up uh, for all their orders. And, you know, an interesting story about my car, it started out as a 2020. Um, the person who had specced this car uh, ended up backing out of the order. And uh, lo and behold, um, I loved the spec and I basically assumed his position and uh, purchased the car. Because the factory shut down, however, they weren't able to produce the car. And uh, basically the, the car was really produced as a 2021. So all the options that came centered on 2021, uh, I got in this car, um, even though it was really started in 2020, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, this one in particular uh, has a lot of the features that I would have liked. Uh, the Q Sotera stitching, which is that little diamond stitching pattern that you'll see uh, in the seats. Um, it has the leather piping uh, contrasting color, as well as the, the contrasting stitching pattern that matches the exterior of the car. Um, it has some gloss black accents on the exterior and interior of the car. Um, it has blacked out exhaust pipes and it also has uh, just these monstrous 23 inch wheels all around, which I think really complete the look of this SUV. Um, so like many other purists out there, who ask, you know, can Lamborghini or any other sports car uh, manufacturer for that matter produce an SUV and still maintain the purity of the sports car experience? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, Porsche has already proven that with its Cayenne Turbo um, and GTS models and uh, all the Turbo S models and all these other just absolutely bonkers, monstrously fast SUVs. Um, you know, and BMW has followed suit with their M models, the X5, X6, and the X3M, which is just a, just a little rocket. Um, you know, Maserati's even taken that role with the, the Trofeo line. And, you know, just, you know, we're seeing so many incredible manufacturers producing these super SUVs, which, you know, they don't apologize for what they are. They they simply are excellent SUVs, uh, they're expensive, they are aggressive in their design, they, 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 they just do everything that an SUV should do, uh, but they also kind of captivate the soul of the sports car and really deliver an exciting and really exhilarating driving experience. So um, while the roads are still a bit slippery, we're not going to go super crazy. Um, so we'll stay in Corsa mode, which is the race mode for uh, this, uh, or Lamborghini in general, but um, we'll stay in Corsa mode so that we can kind of pick up on some of these exhaust notes. I'll, I'll shut up and we'll just keep driving.
guys haven't been to Lake Tahoe, um, this is one of the roads that leads up to the top of the lake. And it's just an absolutely stunning, beautiful drive. Absolutely breathtaking views. We have on, a, on our right side, this is just the northwest side of Lake Tahoe. just taking this view it's absolutely incredible so I'm gonna crack these windows so you guys can hear a little bit about what this thing is about side. Absolutely stunning mountains on one side. One side of the lake on this side. One side of the lake on that side. Just as the famous Strad would say, views on views.
there's absolutely nothing like the beauty of Lake Tahoe in the winter. We're gonna start our descent down Emerald Bay Pass, which is as breathtaking as it is on the way up.
get back into town, I uh, definitely want to share my thoughts about what this thing feels like driving around the twisties because this is the first time I've actually taken it out in any kind of inclement weather and pushed it a little bit through the twisties and um, yeah, I've got to say that I'm just so impressed with what Lamborghini has done and what Audi has done really um, in terms of putting it together a vehicle that is just so well balanced that does so much so well. Um, I won't say where, but we approached you know three digit speeds in Mexico. But um, this thing, uh, it just feels so planted and poised and composed. Um, you know, if you ever have a chance to look at an Urus, you, you know, I don't know how these things are going to depreciate because what history has shown us so far is that the they're not depreciating they they simply refuse to come down in price um, price point is something that you know I, I really haven't talked about in some of these other videos but um, you know it's something that I feel pretty comfortable talking about now uh, because I looked I searched so hard for this car really for so long um, you know, 2019 Urises are in the ballpark of, you know, anywhere between 240 to $260,000, depending on their spec. Um, being that we are in 2021, uh, you know, this finding brand new Urises are, it's not so easy. It's a very difficult feat. Um, and uh, because 2021, the, in 2021, um, the Lamborghini factory did increase the amount of standard options the, the Urus came with. The base price has gone up. Um, these things start in the $250,000 range and kind of go up from there. I, you know, sky's the limit with how you want to spec yours. Um, I was able to pay for this car uh, just under 255000 and um, with some additional, um, fr you know, from the dealer options, escaped under two hundred seventy k. So, uh, you know, price per, for value, you know what I mean, um, I'm curious to see how this thing does over the next year or two. Uh, I'm not inclined to say that they're going to depreciate very much. Um, ownership of this vehicle is probably going to be a uh, little to no money out of pocket uh, after selling it, or if you're, if you're leasing it, um, giving them, you know, giving it back. Uh, the, the values of these things uh, seem to be rock solid. I'm hopeful that they stay that way. Uh, and uh, you know, as Lamborghini continues to produce more and more hybrid powertrain cars uh, you know this is going to go down as one of the greats I believe um, the Urus really is a game changer for Lamborghini uh, because it retains just the ferocity and the just the, the sheer chaos that the brand has brought to the automotive world for the last 40-50 years it, it just takes this to a whole another level by introducing some sort of practical element and usable element for guys with families like me um, having uh, two kids and a wife to have to drive around to most of our events um, you know it's I'm not just limited now to using other manufacturers I can have the brand loyalty to Lamborghini product and still have plenty of fun while I'm exploring the California as well as wherever else we travel in this thing which will be lots of places this year 2021 is going to be a chance for me to really beat on all the cars that I own um, I definitely don't buy them for the next guy let's put it like that so I'm hopeful that if you guys are tuning into the channel for the first time um, you'll be seeing a lot more of this uh, me taking all the cars I own and driving them the way they're supposed to be driven and the elements that they're supposed to be driven in. Um, I don't worry about mileage. I don't worry about uh, depreciation in general. I generally buy the cars I want to buy um, because I like them. And 
films because they do, uh, for me, what cars should do for any automotive enthusiast. Uh, you know, these things bring me joy, and I drive them because I want to drive them. So um, I'm hopeful that you guys enjoyed the drive with me today, and I am uh, really thankful for the opportunity to own this car. This is just an amazing beast of a machine. I'm hoping you guys uh, are interested in, in seeing some more Urus content and uh, will hopefully consider subscribing to my channel and ringing the notification bell if you haven't already. Um, please do leave your comments in the comment section below about what you think about this Urus and this style of video. If you'd like to see more of this, please uh, leave your thoughts in the comments so that I can make some more content um, kind of specifically to what you guys are interested in. Uh, hope you guys have a great day and uh, let's go 2021.